Hey guys, so welcome to my tips and tricks video on how to play Jets. So, small disclaimer, I'm not the best Jet in the world. I'm not a pro. I'm not an insanely good player. I'm not going to even say that I'm above average. You know, I like to hold, I like to say that I can hold my own, but I'm not going to say that I'm the best player out there. But I can give you guys some tips and tricks that I've learned throughout playing the game for the past few weeks. I'm going to share with you guys what I've learned with playing Jets, seeing other people play Jet, and just seeing overall the mistakes I make and other people make while just trying to figure out on how to best use her abilities. So first, I'm just going to talk to you guys about how to use her and her abilities most effectively to really engage for your team. She's considered a duelist character, which means she's going to be up there on the front lines trying to get some picks and trying to get some ground for your team. So hopefully this video won't be too long for you guys. Hopefully it's pretty straight to the point for everything. I'm going to split it off into three segments, just talking about her abilities, comparing them to other agents, and then lastly, how to use them most effectively for your team. So without further ado, we're just going to get right into the video and we're going to look at Jet's main abilities. So diving right into her first ability, it is a smoke grenade. So basically just press the button, throw a smoke, it covers their line of sight, covers your line of sight both ways and it's pretty good way to push up on a corner that you're pinned on let's say right here there's an enemy to my right right and i'm trying to i'm stuck over here and you want to go over there to the bomb or something to spike you just throw a smoke right there boom block sight jump right over see easy pass so another nice thing about her smokes that not a lot of people do know about is the fact that she can curve it sometimes someone will be holding an angle right there and you're going to be too busy thinking hey i'm just going to smoke it off because i want to get over here so what i'll do is i'll peek smoke and then i'll walk right through it's not going to work out like that. By the time you get over here, by the time you start doing animation, they're going to shoot you and you're going to be defenseless. So one nice little thing is, is that she can curve her smokes. It follows your cursor. So if you do a really hard turn right here without them seeing me at all from that angle, I can just smoke it off. It's smoked off right there and I can walk right past. So I took out Brimstone real quick to show you guys how long it takes for the smokes to actually deploy for how long it takes for him to take out his map to the locations he wants to smoke oh, out yeah. and how long it takes the smokes to actually arrive onto the area same thing with omen it takes him a while to do the animation startup and then choose the distance he wants to use it for and how long it takes for it to get there so next thing in her actual abilities list is the updraft now it does exactly that it just updrafts her it just propels her up into the air for a few feet you can do it twice if you want to right there and she also if you hold spacebar while you're falling you actually glide so i don't know if any of you ever played overwatch but she's basically got the mercy glide go high up into the air and she will glide if you just hold spacebar right there it's not mentioned anywhere in the abilities list as of this moment i don't really know where it is but it's a nice little neat little trick if you just want to jump off from a high place without really taking any damage keep in mind it does make a lot of noise the same one the same noise you hear right here is what they hear as well and you still make the noise when you fall into the ground so we're here on bind right now and i wanted to show you guys some tricks that i learned with her updraft that works really well when attacking and defending that guarantees you at least a few kills the first spot would be right here in this corner updraft right here you're gonna be holding a really good corner here onto showers anyone who walks out will probably die by your hand the next person will probably try and realize that it's you but then by the time they turn around you'll probably get a second kill and by that time you shouldn't push your luck and just kind of move for splats before they kill you next spot would be right outside tp when people get out through tp they can open the door and they're going to worry about their heart right first then move on to hookah right over there worry about this corner right there lastly over there and then maybe over there they're not going to expect you right up here if you're a jet and if they go tp you can just go right up here and you can just hold this really good angle onto it that people will not expect will guarantee you a few kills so the last really good spot that i found with using jet would be on these two boxes right here if you're pushing a short you could have a really good angle from here into heaven right there good corners on site to cover off your teammates you could also kind of put some suppressing on this corner and you could also cut off any u-haul rotation that's coming out maybe going to tp maybe they're going to come out through here to stop the defuse and it's really good because every single person that's going to be coming out of these corners are going to be aiming at level height they're not going to come out of u-haul expecting someone to be up there they're going to be looking like this over there and they're going to white me like that and their crosshair is going to be over here they're going to be dealing with over here first they're not going to be looking up here and for the time they do realize you're up there you're already going to be shooting at them and they're going to have to react really fast to kill you but by the time that happens you're probably going to guarantee a few kills in the round so getting into her next ability would be her dash so you just press your dash button it'll take you forward 
If you're standing still, it'll always take you forward, but if you move in the direction of where you want to go, it takes you in that direction, the direction you want, and it can be used once per round. The nice thing about this ability is that it comes back every round, and on top of that, it resets for every two kills you get. So let's say you use your dash, you get two kills, dash again, two more kills, get the last kill. You get to dash up to three times per round if you get four kills. Now, her dash is sort of like Genji's dash in Overwatch. I don't know if many of you played Overwatch, but Genji's dash resets for every kill he gets. Now, the differences between the, both of them is that her dash does no damage, his dash does, and her dash requires two kills for a reset. A good way to use the dash would be to get to spaces without your enemy really having much time to react. Let's say there's an enemy to your right, and a lot of people, what they do would be to peek it, kill the person. Some people would just say, you know, whatever, I'll just run across. But Jet can just go an easy dash right across, and unless they have inhumane timing and actual pinpoint accuracy, they're not going to be able to click a really fast dash. Keep in mind, however, the dash does make you vulnerable because there's a really, really slow start of time for you to take out your weapon again. So if there's an enemy right there and he's turned around, and if you set a dash to him, by the time you take out your gun, they might turn around and kill you. And it also makes a pretty fair amount of noise. So anyone within a good radius of you will hear this noise. And they will be automatically alert and they will tell their teammates, a jet just dashed near the area, watch out. Moving on to her final ability, it is her ultimate and it is called Bladestorm and she summons 5 throwing knives around her that are completely accurate no matter how much you move. A lot of the times your gun will be inaccurate as you move, but her knives, they do 50 damage each to the body and no matter how much you're moving, they will always hit where you're aiming at. So these knives that she has actually recharge on kill, so I can't test it out with these bots, but I'll show some gameplay here in a second, where every kill you get gives you a knife back. So each knife that she has does 50 damage to your opponent. It takes 3 hits or so to break their armor and actually get the kill, but if they are wearing no armor it takes 2 hits, and it always is a one shot headshot, each knife to the head does 150 damage. She also has an alternate fire that not a lot of people use because of its unpredictability. It has a lot of spread and oh I got two lucky kills right there. But it has a lot of spread and she throws her remaining knives at the target in a weird sort of random fashion. But for every kill that you get for her actual alternate fire, her knives recharge back. So what a lot of people do is, since she does not actually lose any of her accuracy while falling or moving around, a lot of jet players will just fly up in the air and go for their opponents really easily because they don't have to worry about any type of damage drop off or inaccuracy. So now that we got past her basic abilities and managed to go in pretty good debt with Jet, we're going to move on and I'm going to show you guys some raw gameplay of me trying to maximize her abilities to push my team forward to winning the rounds. Hopefully you guys will learn something new in the comments and how to use her most effectively here. I know there's some things I may not know. I'm still a relatively new player, but this is a pretty good start for people who don't know how to use her and want to get to use her just because she looks cool or because they're having difficulties really using her in a good way. So without further ado, I'm going to show the raw gameplay and if there's any critiques or advice you guys can give me in the comments, please do so below. I'm always looking to improve and I really want you guys to know that I'm not going to just say no, I'm the best guy out there, I know what I'm doing. So uh, yeah, enjoy.
One enemy remaining. Win. Was that supposed to be a fight? <laughs>